Today I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So the perfect dish for my mood is ginger chicken stir fry. Quick, easy, nutritious, and delicious. To the kitchy own. Alrighty, so the beauty of this is you can use whatever you prefer on hand. I have scallions, onion, garlic, ginger, lime, broccoli, and peppers. You can use whatever you'd like, but this is what I have on hand for my Asian themed stir fry. For the protein, I'm going with nice lean chicken breast. You could use chicken thighs, shrimp, beef, tofu, just vegetables, whatever you prefer, obviously. And I'm gonna take my chicken and just cut it on the bias thin, and not too thin, but thin enough so it will cook fairly quickly. Once you have it all cut, I like to season it with just salt and pepper. Season very well here, and then give it a nice toss, and that's it. We're going straight into the pan, so we'll get a hot pan with some hot oil of your choosing. And we just want to get a nice here, right? So hot pan, don't overcrowd it too much. I mean, I'm pushing it a little bit here. You can see it's getting a little bit crowded in here, but you just want to make sure that there's enough room. So either use a larger pan or do this in smaller batches if you're doing a lot of chicken. But once you have a nice here on each side, we can reserve this. We're not worried if it's cooked all the way through yet. Just put it to the side with all of its juices. Get some fresh oil in the pan. We'll throw in some ginger and equal parts garlic, about two to three tablespoons of each. And we just want to cook these over medium heat, just sweat them out not looking at any color yet. After a couple minutes of sweating those flavors out, let's go in with our broccoli. I cut mine super small and bite-sized, so they just cook through in the pan. These are going to taste delicious, I promise you. You can blanch them beforehand if you like your pieces bigger and just some boiling water and then chock them in an ice bath, but these are gonna cook just fine for me. Then I will make some room in the pan for our onions and our peppers. And you can see I kind of cut these like matchstick style, not super crazy thin, but thin enough so they'll cook quickly, but not too thin to where they will fall apart. I will just cook these down. Traditional stir fry, I mean, you're cooking everything super high heat, super fast. So call this stir fry made easy. Season the vegetables, go easy on the salt for now, and I'll show you why. Once they're where we want them, it's time for the chicken to jump back in. Sure, have some fun with it. Give it a good mix. Now it is time to make our sauce. So I'm gonna start with chicken stock, and I like to use a lot. This is about three or four cups of chicken stock because I like a lot of sauce. I don't want it to be soupy, but I like a lot of sauce to kind of soak everything up and pour over what I'm gonna put it on. So I'm gonna let this reduce by about half because again, I don't want it soupy, so I wanna reduce this down. If you're pressed for time, you could just start with a lot less chicken stock, but it's gonna give it a nice amount of body for our sauce. Then I'll go in with a few tablespoons of soy sauce. And no, this is not a replay. This is actually oyster sauce, the same amount. This stuff is amazing. If you've never had it before, it's salty, it's sweet, it's not fishy at all. It just has such a unique flavor and gives such a unique taste to any kind of sauce or dish. It's just like the perfect secret ingredient that really stands out and gives it a pop. Now we'll just kill the heat and let everything kind of mellow and marry together. I'm using low sodium soy sauce and low sodium chicken stock so I can control the salt. Naturally, salty ingredients like soy sauce and oyster oyster sauce. The key is you absolutely have to taste it. Do you need to adjust the seasoning? Does it need a hint of oyster sauce or a little bit more soy sauce? Maybe some chilies if you like some spice. So give it a taste. Yes, it's absolutely delicious. It just needs a little bit of acidity for me to kind of set it off. So I will take half of a lime, give that a good squeeze over there. Then I will take a bunch of scallions and throw that in there for a nice oniony fresh bite and a little bit of herbiness. And there you have a nice close-up. You can see it's not like a stew. It's not soupy, but it's not too thick like that sauce you get out of a jar. It's just perfectly glazed over the chicken and vegetables. This is exactly how I want it. And you can just go to town with a spoon, but I'd rather put it over some rice. So I will get a hot pot with a couple tablespoons of oil. This is a cup of white rice that I have rinsed, not only to clean it, but I also feel that it helps to get a better texture if you rinse your rice beforehand. Give it a quick stir. And I want simple rice, but not flavorless. So I will season this well with a garlic salt pepper mixture. Cover it with my water. I go with a two to one ratio. So two cups of water to one cup of rice. Give that a nice stir to make sure it distributes evenly. I have some bay leaves on hand. If you don't happen to have any, just go out in your front yard and grab a couple of those. Just kidding. Don't worry if they just stay floating on top. They tend to do that. Cover it with the lid. And now I like to go as low and as slow as possible. For a cup of rice, this should take me about 15 to 20 minutes. Once all the liquid's gone though, don't rush it. I like to let it sit there with the lid on and the heat off just to kind of let the steam do its thing. And then I will uncover it and still let some of the steam escape for another five minutes. Don't worry, it will stay super hot. Then it is time to fluff it with something that won't scratch your pan. This is key to it. And there you go. Nice, simple, very flavorful rice. This will go very well with our chicken stir fry. Speaking of which, let's grab that plate or bowl. The choice is yours. I will grab a plate and put a nice fat mound of rice. Then I will start smothering my chicken. Don't make a mess like me. That's much better. Once it is completely smothered, you can barely see the rice. Make sure it's got plenty of sauce and it's just how you want it. And then you can see these guys go together so nicely. All the chicken, all the vegetables over that soft rice with all that sauce. It soaks it up so perfectly. There's so much flavor to this. It tastes light. It tastes healthy. It tastes delicious. It's got that nice Asian inspiration. And it's crazy easy to do using accessible, affordable ingredients. You can use whatever you want. You go with whatever kind of different themes that you like. Maybe you're just feeling a whole bunch of veggies. Throw in whatever veggies you like with this sauce over rice and you can't go wrong. This is the kind of stir fry that'll make you cry, but you know, like in a good way. Happy cry.